So that's how quick it is and easy to set up this new free spirit tent. Got you a new Jeep. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, sweet, eh? Dirt bikes in the back. All right, guys, we are back at Epic. We need to find our rooftop tent because, well, John's forerunner is ready to go do some off-roading and he wants his tent back and uh, mine has arrived. So I'm gonna show you guys just which rooftop tent we're gonna be putting on the JL today. We're gonna get it mounted up on top and then we'll do a little walk around. I'll kind of show you some of the features and some of the cool stuff about it. But I think we need to check out uh, Chef John's forerunner here now that it's lifted, it's got his wheels on and we'll take a look at exactly how we're gonna get that rooftop tent mounted up on it as well. It's gonna be a fun little day here at Epic Adventure Outfitters. Looks a little different now. We've got the Method bronze wheels on it that we were talking about a few weeks ago in the video. John, I'm sure, is super looking forward to getting this out and doing some off-roading and some camping. And that is our plan for this weekend, so do make sure you are subscribed to see the next video because we're going to be heading straight out, hitting some trails after hanging out here at uh, Epic for a little bit, getting the rooftop tents on. But Casey brought John's not Jeep down here. <laughs> and uh, we threw on the ever-reliable Old Man Emu three-inch suspension front and rear. We did the upper control arms from SPC so you can dial in that alignment better. And then the nice bronze method wheels wrapped in KO2s, which is common for this setup. And then we did the Artec cross braces with the factory rails. And we're gonna mount that tent onto this forerunner. <laughs> so we're just talking about why John went with this uh, lift. There's about two or three options in this range. I think just getting started, this is my first off-road vehicle. I wanted to get into it. I wanted to see how I was gonna like it. Yeah. And you know, just, just see if it without, was worth it. Without breaking the bank. Yeah, exactly. Without spending double the, the <laughs> money on everything. And nothing I, we did here is irreversible. Yeah, yeah. that's a so, good point too. Kind of gets you into off-roading. So we kind of got like a modest lift, modest tire size, but definitely some more ground clearance, some more capability. We need to get a winch on here, right? Like, yeah, there's, uh, some stuff, there's some stuff upcoming. This is gonna get cut up a little bit. It's gonna look totally different on the front. It's gonna look a lot different on the sides too. Sometime soon, we're waiting for some goodies to arrive. We've got a uh, brand new worn uh, VR10K Evo winch that's gonna go on the front of here. Uh, that's gonna be a bit of an experience. Figure out how to uh, mount a winch on a, not Jeep, that doesn't have a winch mount or anything like that. Yeah. So we got a custom full width bumper going in. We'll put the worn winch in there. We got all the mounts and all that fancy stuff. So do you guys want to see us installing a winch on a 4Runner? Because I think that'd be kind of a fun project. So let me know down in the comments below if that is any interest to see how we're going to get this done. Because we all know just how easy it is to put a winch on a new JL or JT. Um, 4Runner is going to be a different little project. I know what you're all here. We got to see what rooftop tent is going on the jail because we're going to take the free spirit odyssey off here we just got to pull the jeep in and uh ours is right here behind us or in front of us so we do have another free spirit tent this one though is a lot different than the one that is on the jeep already and it's just kind of hiding in here why don't we pull the jeep into the shop first and then we'll get this unboxed and i'll show you exactly what's going on and you might a little hint of just which tent we've got. So this thing's coming in a huge box. This is uh, the ginger in deep thought. Magic happens. There you got on here, John. Are those zap straps? Don't show this. What is it? What are you doing? I was just kidding about the zip ties. Temporary. Busted. Just temporarily zip tied John's rooftop tent on while Christian goes and gets some more hardware. So while he's doing that, we're going to get the JL pulled back into the shop. We're going to unbox that new Free Spirit tent. We're gonna get it mounted on and then I'm gonna show you guys just how awesome this new one is. All right, should we get this thing out of this giant box? <laughs> Ready? Oh, it's upside down. Oh, that's the boring side. That's the boring side. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Well, it looks like a rooftop tent, Paul. This is a rooftop tent. <laughs> now we have to unpack it. Oh. This one looks a little different to John's. You might notice this here. We're going to show you guys that in just a second. Because this is a different design and different model. But I think we need to get it up on the Jeep before we open it up. Yeah. yeah. Probably a good idea. Be Sweet, cool. I can't wait to see it up on the rig. Have a look. It'll be epic. Ep epic. Like that up there. <laughs> on some swag. Hey. So I don't match the rest of you guys. I know, dirty and dangerous. So I gotta rep the brand, but today we'll wear we'll wear our uh, free spirit. <laughs> Nice. Did you send it with your tent? Yeah, it was inside. Oh, oh perfect. Wow. That's and always a, and nice. a t-shirt and a beanie. Did you take the one out of my tent when it came in? Or? Uh, Maybe. Got some bad news for you. <laughs> you guys remember Carol and Peter from Epic Family Road Trip? Stopped here at Epic Adventure Outfitters. They're uh, just in the neighborhood uh, getting their JL repaired. And uh, they stopped by with the JK to say hello. Hey, vlogging? Welcome. <laughs> I guess I'll uh, back into the overflow part. The dumpsters here. <laughs> right back. Look at this thing. Oh. Huh? What? What are you talking about? How, where's the? Ch I thought it came with a chain what? for around your neck. Oh, oh, this? Yeah. Oh, this is nothing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is nothing. I just carry this around with me. Uh, I actually, I actually burning. was trying to convert it to a chain before I came because I thought it'd be funny to like roll up with this just um, swinging off my neck. That wouldn't be funny at all. But. That'd be stylish. <laughs> looking good man another clean rig i'm the only one here that is completely dirty it's gonna get dirty anyway <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what i say <laughs> you guys remember unwinding roads check them out uh, showed up we've got like the entirety almost of uh youtube here <laughs> how's it going buddy good how's it going good good Coffees too. I didn't realize that there was this many people. Oh man! Well, don't tell anyone else that you brought them. Yeah, yeah. we'll just start <laughs> drinking them. For them. <laughs> These mud flaps. They look crazy. You don't like coolers? You, li you like those weird don't? Those are the ones that nobody gets in the box. Oh, these are no good. You want the old fashioned glazed and you want the uh, the cream filled. And I'm taking this before anyone else does. Bam. <laughs> All right, Landon, we're ready for the zip ties if you got the big ones. Not on me, but nope. I'll get you sorted. Okay. <laughs> not, we're not zip tying it on, guys, no. That looks great, man. All right, so we've just put the uh, rooftop tent up on the Jeep. It's a little bit taller than the Odyssey. So this is the Evolution from Free Spirit Recreation. It's 55 inches wide, uh, so it sleeps two full adults, which is nice. And that's 55 inches on the inside. It's a little bit wider on the outside and just a little bit taller than the Odyssey, but it looks awesome up there. Show you guys in a second when we get outside, but just how quick and easy this is to open up. And I'll take you on a little walk around. We'll show off some of the features. I think it's just awesome. I'm really, really looking forward to trying this one out tonight on the trail. We've got the Free Spirit Evolution mounted up. Why don't we pop it up and take a look and I'll show you just what this looks like out here in the beautiful sunshine today. You than me. Right from your camera. Where's your camera? Right behind you. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, didn't know we were vlogging. <laughs> All right. So that's how quick it is and easy to set up this new Free Spirit Evolution tent. Let's grab the ladder and we'll take a look around on the inside. I'm just gonna stand in front of the camera some more. Yeah. Professional vlogger with us today.
Yeah, you kind of can just you sit. Kind of sit here and yeah, some cover. Have your morning coffee, right? Yeah, nicely done, free spirit. Pretty, pretty slick. Let's show these guys around on the inside. I'll yeah. be down here eating donuts just or something. <laughs> We got our adjustable ladder which uh, goes up real quick and just hooks on to the uh, bar here and then we'll climb in. We need to unattach this little hook here which basically just pulls in the material on the far side when you're closing it so you don't need that when you're... Uh, just like the Odyssey we've got a couple shoe bags that we can deploy here on the side to keep our shoes out of the tent. There's another one right there. But we've got a good maybe 18 or more inches of overhang. And that uh, this kind of gives you a nice little spot. Gives you some shade or keeps the rain from falling down onto you, which we get a ton of rain if you're sitting here getting out in the morning, which is real nice. And then we've got everything rolled up, our door. And let's hop inside. We're going to leave our shoes on because we don't care. <sighs> So we're inside and what's really nice about this is I like that we have the rail here on the side that kind of gives you a bit more stability. Yeah, you have to climb over it, but it wasn't something I noticed that was on the Odyssey. So this uh, Evolution has a you know, nice little piece to keep you from falling out of the side. We've got our tri-layer fabric, which is completely blackout. So at, uh, if the sun comes up really early, it's not going to wake you up and we'll keep you a little bit warmer. We can see the story till now and Chef John down below us here. What are you doing up there? Out our far side window. What's the fuel economy on this tent? Uh, we'll have to do that test later. Down here we've got uh, end windows, which is great. And we can open the screens right up too. This is a cool little feature that Paul pointed out to me on the side. So once you've got your main window closed, we've got these little pockets on the side here. So. Uh, not pockets, but ventilation windows. So even if it's pouring rain, we've got this. We can still have some good ventilation in here because we can prop this little guy up and keep this window pulled away from the screen and we can get some good air through here. And there's another one over here on this side, which is cool. And then up along the top, we've got a couple storage pouches, which is gonna be great for you know, I usually take my glasses off or putting my phone at night and I'm not going to crush them. And then along the top, we have an LED light strip, which we still need to add. You need to bring your own power supply. So if you have a little battery bank, you can plug this in. And, uh, and then you've got a nice little LED light strip to illuminate your rooftop tent at night, which is really cool. And then we've got a couple hooks to hang some stuff. A couple more storage pouches. What do you guys think? This is pretty slick I really like this so uh, we're gonna wrap up we're just finishing here at Epic Adventure Outfitters and we're gonna head out on the trail so if you guys want to see that video make sure you're subscribed we're gonna spend the next two nights out doing some exploring and camping and overlanding and over glamping and whatever uh, with John and his forerunner Sean from the story till now and me in the new free spirit evolution tent so let me know what you think about this new rooftop tent you can check it out at gofsr.com, uh, Free Spirit Recreation's website. And it, this is the 55 inch evolution. Are you vlogging? You wanna do the outro? Uh, make sure you subscribe to the story till now and I'll <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't forget, you gotta tell them to share the video and leave a like. Share the video and leave a like. All right, yeah, there you go. How does this thing work? Am I vlogging? I don't know.